I saw a fantastic business plan the other day describing a technology offering for real estate brokerage firms, which held out the promise of substantially increasing their sales. The only issue I had with the business plan came to the market sizing of the space, which the entrepreneur said at a trillion and a half dollars. I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about how to properly market size the space that you're going after. So what is the trillion and a half dollars? That's the total amount of U.S. residential home sales in 2013. The problem for this entrepreneur, he's not selling real estate. He's selling technology solutions to brokerage firms. So the total market sizing should be the total expenditure on technology solutions by all the brokerage firms. The definition of market sizing is the total amount of expenditures on goods and services in a given vertical over a given period of time. Or put differently, the total market sizing should be equal to the total revenue generation of all of your competitors. So how do you come up with a market size? In the first instance, I might literally just go to Google and type in what were the total technology expenditures of real estate brokerage firms last year? And in this case, I wasn't able to find anything. So I would suggest you consider two other methodologies to come up with a market size. The first is what I would call a bottom-up approach. And the second is to find some other area of expenditures for these brokerage firms that would be relevant in identifying the potential of my business. Let's start with the bottom-up approach. My Google search revealed that there were actually 500,000 brokers, residential brokers in the United States last year, and that on average, they were spending something like $2,000 per broker on technology solutions. I multiply one by the other, and I find that a billion dollars was spent on technology last year by brokerage firms. Now, that number doesn't have a lot of precision, as the firms themselves may be spending more money, and some of that billion dollars may actually be going to hardware, like iPhones and Android phones, but it's a starting place. Is there another number, a larger number that would be more exciting and more relevant for my business? Well, when I research further, I find that $27 billion was spent last year by real estate brokerage firms on advertising. And if I really think that I can be impactful on the amount of sales that these brokerage firms are able to complete, maybe the purchase of my solution comes out of the marketing budget and not the technology budget. So I would reference the $27 billion as well in my business plan. Why do we go through this exercise at all? If you're constructing a business plan, investors are going to want to know from you how big the opportunity is that you're pursuing. Because in order for them to justify returns on their investment, they need to know that the size is worthy of going after. Let's assume no investor ever reads your plan. Is this still worth doing? I would suggest to you yes. Because as the leader of the business, you're trying to figure out where within the organizations you're targeting, they have the budget to buy your product. And if you go through this exercise and conclude that there's significantly more dollars to be spent in the marketing department of real estate brokerage firms as opposed to the technology department, you might target a different person within those organizations, a different decision maker, and you might craft your sale pitch differently.